me. You want to try finger me? Say... Go right ahead. <laughs> try it. Go on. Try finger me. <laughs> try finger me right now. No, go you ahead. Go. <laughs> right now. Try you finger me. Come on. You want to come on this podcast to try figuring this guy? You good fucking luck because my, I, I, am, I faced the devil himself and I won. Welcome back to Cream Crew. How's it going, fellas? It's going well, Don. How are you, man? I'm pretty good. I, I, you know, I wasn't part of the conversation, but it sounded like you like to eat period pussy. That's, no, no, no. that's well, what I got that from was that a conversation between me and me and my uh, my editor. So don't ever listen like that. You guys so just you... sitting quietly in a server, not saying anything. Well, me and my me and my good friend have a uh, a nice private conversation about uh, that time of the getting busy on that time of the month. Oh, that, that. Well, have I, you ever I didn't know that's putting the kind of in the work associate with? Huh. I didn't know it's the kind of people you associate with. Oh, absolutely. Men, real men. <laughs> men men who try to get theirs at all times. Have you uh have you never fucked a girl on her period done? No, I have, but I haven't <clears throat> eaten a period pussy. One time I uh I went down to check it out and I fucking peeled back her like sanitary towel. And I was like, yep, it definitely started. Ooh. Think I'm going to miss this one. <laughs> Put it back on. <laughs> Rewraps the present. Her sanitary towel, like a fucking hijab over a pussy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> dude. But yeah, it's a heavy flow well, this month. I Think guess we'll this time there. is probably not going to work there, sweetheart. <laughs> Basically. Put my cowboy boots back on and walked out of the room. Yeah. All right, darling. You have a good one, all right? <laughs> yeah. The spurs hey, were jingling. stay yeasty. Oh no! You get more like you better get that looked at. <laughs> you you're in trouble. Yeah, that's, that's, like a, that's a woman. lot of blood. Every woman who's uh, having a period—that's my favorite thing to say to them. You're in trouble. This is not going to get better. I like the amb- <laughs> ambiguous nature of the statement. You're in trouble because it's like from yeah. from you. <laughs> Yeah, it's like why? <laughs> when I get when I get the blood sent, when I, I get ain't through no with stopping you, stopping this hound dog. There's no stopping what's about to happen. <laughs> oh, this little bloodhound's got the scent. magic happening here. That's another thing I like to say. There's unbelievable magic happening here. Yeah, there was nothing more beautiful than uh, the re, just the reproduction of life in that cycle. You know. Oh, you toss out absolutely. the old eggs. You get in some new ones. It's a beautiful thing. Yeah, you just get a couple new ones. A couple new eggs. Everyone, everyone likes fresh eggs. Life's, uh, life's, uh, what the fuck is it? Life's, what are those little fruit snacks that have the that have the jelly in them? I'll tell you what it is. Hey, it's, it's <laughs> life's gushers, little dude. fucking chicken. Yeah, there you chicken go. Chicken hatch. That's what it is. Life's little chicken. Life's yeah. gushers, gushers, dude. Life's gushers. That is true. Don't you? Don't I'd even you like to. I'd even like to say life's the go-gurt. association. Life's danimals. Ooh, that's. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that's, every child's <laughs> fucking <laughs> foul life's animals. There's a fucking orangutan on the cup. I'm so sad. There it is. <laughs> Life really is full of beautiful mysteries, isn't it, sweetie? <laughs> Damn, I forgot about animals. What the fuck animals is this animal? So do for, for us people who weren't born in this place. It's plastic cream, basically. <laughs> like, there's, no, there's no real way. It's, it, was like, it's just it was like a little plastic cup. cream. Full, yeah, wasn't it like pudding? I don't even really remember. A pudding consistency period would freak. Like, I, you have blood clots. And they're going to go to your brain. This is just a little fucking stop off. She's them, like, no, nah, I'm, heading- right. nah, I'm good. <laughs> The girl that has Danimal period uh, pussy blood is definitely the person who's just like, nah, I'm, I think I'll be okay. <laughs> I'm I. Like, okay. I'll pull, pull through. through. Okay, little miss. Yes, you All know right, me. Heart, that sounds good. You're my little God, angel, you my little fighter. That's like one of the things, too, where it's like uh, one of the most disturbing things you can ever say to a girl, which one of my friends said that he used to say this, is you got a you got pretty little pussy. Oh, I, I like, like that. that. That's a compliment. Oh, I don't like that at all. That's a, what a lovely thing to say to a lady. <laughs> you got a pretty little pussy. Yeah. Yeah. That's nice. You know, it's all maybe cute and tucked in. I tell you, there's there would be grounds for like dismissal. Oh, not me, dude. Oh, you like so the you, fucking... you 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 like the you like the tucked out pussy? I like tucked in. 
or the yeah t- tucked uh tucked in pussy yeah i don't i don't need fucking just big <laughs> yeah not me slabs man of kebab meat hanging yeah not me man i'm i'm more of a i'm more of the fucking uh you want to chew on that beef jerky don't you <laughs> <laughs> yeah <laughs> I want, not only want to, do i want to chew on the beef jerky but i want to uh but i also um i want it looking like a fucking like a prolapsed asshole that's what my like mm-hmm. my pussy is looking like mm-hmm. A little fucking a little blue steak from France. Oh yeah. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Madame Muselle. We 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 is we. We we we. That's what Frenchmen say. They they get the fucking catch a whiff of that nice blue steak. They're like we 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 <laughs> Madame Muselle. Oh ho oh, oh, ho! Let me get a taste of it. Oh. <laughs> ah! God, disgusting. I just, I know there's not many, if any, women listening to this, but I just want you to know <laughs> if you've got a little dangly pussy flaps, then you don't have a chance with this fucking hunk. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, I like that. I like how assertive that is, dude. Mm hmm. Really, it'll dude, make them want you know me more. What? And that's my evil plan. That's true. That's the, it's a bulletproof plan. I want to be able to put a fucking piece of bread on either side and make a nice little sandwich. You just like the you like it when it looks like Homer Simpson's mouth. Yeah, you make that cons- 100%. comparison. I don't. I don't yeah, want the grizzly me, bits. I just you nah, know. I'll, nah, I like I like all the gutty works coming out. Mm, no, yeah, yeah. It's just a bit visceral. I like it whenever. It? I like it when it almost yeah, it just looks like a fucking like almost like a like an axe just her wound. fucking her intestines and her stomachs just pouring out of her fucking out of her little pussy hole, dude. Come on in. Hey, sign me up, dude. Water's just fine. The lo- the water's lukewarm. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe those unappealing temperatures. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Getting me going. That's hot. <laughs> That's hot. hot. That's pretty fucking hot. But in all actuality, don't ever listen to my fucking conversations like that again because those are private affairs, dude. Private affairs. I kind of like I was gonna cry right there. Private, f- private affairs. I'm. Um, uh, I wasn't listening. That was all done. Well, it's a more of a general <sighs> statement, dude. Well, maybe. Well, actually, that's not gonna work. I was gonna say maybe show up on time and talk, but you did. So I, I absolutely did. Done. Now that's your cross to bear. Hmm. Who's cross? What are we even talking about? Christ, Jesus Christ. <laughs> God, <clears throat> what uh, what are we doing here, boys? We start half an hour late. People aren't paying attention. He's sick. I just, I just, yeah, sick. I'm not following. I am what, sick. Uh, I feel what rough. pray tell happened? Why are you ill? Did, it have, did you did you chow down myself. on that little fucking blood moon? Yep. <laughs> yep. <sighs> it got me. You were it like, got me. Damn, I'm recovering. This looks, this looks good. This looks tasty. But this looks good. It was re- it was like reheated rice. <laughs> oh yeah, Uncle Ben's rice, dude. That's, a, that's another oh. look I love. That's another look I, I I love is whenever it looks like Uncle Ben's eyes. <laughs> Just his eyelid. Almost like it's a false eye. I need some context real quick, Uncle Ben. There's some nice. Uh, I like some you nice. Know what? Uh, I like a pussy with an epicanthic fold. Is that how you say it? <laughs> I just like I just like using using the word epic in there. Hell yeah, dude. Epic Anytime someone can fold. put pussy and epic into the same sentence, you know that it's a good day. A pussy. Epic. A bussy. Epic. A boozy. A boozy. A boozy. I don't know if there's a more foul word in the English language than bussy. Probably. Are you doing a school report it right now, Don? A I'm, hearing a, lot report, of, I'm hearing a lot of research going on. <laughs> no, research. my research is done. Now I know what Uncle Ben looks like. The Hunter's joke has context. I respect it. Appreciate you never it. knew what Uncle Ben looked like? Don, I, hey, Don doesn't see color. That's true. That's, that's right. a good point. That's what keeps him so cute, dude. That yeah. would be cool if there was a different Uncle Ben for the brown rice. Well, the only. <laughs> he is. That'd be the so you're that's, saying that that's, all the I'm other rice you wish he, there was if on the if on the white rice yeah it was it was Peter Parker's for, uncle dude yeah. I love I love me some Uncle Ben's rice dude it, there's no way it can be good for you because I love the uh, it's like I remember I used to get boil in a bag rice and it was like you just boil 
rice in a plastic bag. <laughs> so really I'm pretty sure like carcinogens are definitely <laughs> being consumed, but I, I, I enjoyed every second throw of it. I, I'd still eat it. Throw that in a pot, just boil it till it's nice and hot, <laughs> and chow on down. You, now you the, just, the, pl- the, the plastic's going to melt just a little bit, but it's that's good. That's good for you, is what that is. You put Thanks, the bag Uncle in ben. a pot of water? Yeah, like on the stove. Oh, tight. Okay. That's yeah, no, dude, it was good. Idea. Ready, ready to fucking eat in three minutes. <laughs> That's good stuff. That. I'm like, I don't know, I need to verify this is real. Boil in bag. Boil in a bag. Bro, that is <laughs> fucked. It's good stuff, dude. We just You know what? We just good didn't and know. good for you. Like 20 years ago, we just didn't know. Plastic seemed fine. 20 yeah. years ago, bro. I did this last year, probably. <laughs> I love... Okay. They're I still love making this? boil in a bag, dude. Yeah, I guess they're still making this tight. Oh, absolutely. Wow. Cost effective. <laughs> tastes good. You can <clears throat> just do it yourself, bro. Just get the little uh, air bubble bags you get in your Amazon boxes and fucking open that bad boy up mm-hmm. and pour some rice in. Just like a carnival fish yeah bag. but these are these Put bags the are they're scientifically made because they have tiny little <laughs> holes poked in them and it has a little handle too because it gets really it's a, it's a hot bag so you can let grab the steam that. out yeah the little oh holes. absolutely <laughs> absolutely because you get that's what you got to do you got to let the you got to let the steam out. it's so hot have you have you considered your levels of fertility uh, one of my testicles that. is dead, so probably none. I, mean, like not oh, I always, I always forget about that. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's why Seriously, I do. That's why I, have. I let the good times roll with boil in a bag, man. Yeah. If anything, you I should just, let I, them I, I, let the good times like roll less when you've only got one nut to count on. <laughs> come on, come on, man. <laughs> no, you gotta let. That's, that's when you gotta double down. If you're not doubling down, then you're really not living. Yeah, that's one way of looking at it. Yeah, because technically, I gotta double down to even to even out. Is how I look at it. Yeah. So just to kill the other destroy one, destroy the other testicle, and then you'll. Well, it, the... it's either it's just like he's a lonely guy. It's like a widow. It's like a, you know. It's like <laughs> what? What is life <laughs> really without my partner here? Shoot with a fucking shotgun. What are you saying? Yeah. Like old Yeller. Uh, we yeah. never, we never really deep dived that. Was that devastating to you when one of your balls died? What happened? Again? It sucked. An artery um, got twisted. Down in my oh, uh, you had torsion. Oof. Yeah, and uh, it like made my nut literally swell up to the size of like a an orange. Like that's not even an exaggeration. I was like, <laughs> at school, oh, I'd show people like my guy friends. I'd be like, dude, check this out. This is crazy. And they're like, you need to go to the hospital. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, it was very extremely painful. That's like that's like the only mm-hmm. thing that I really um, was bummed out about. It was I missed an ACDC concert because of it. It's pronounced Akadaka. I was in the hospital. Akadaka. Akadaka, mate. Because mm-hmm. they're Australian. That's right. That's right. That's right. So they untwisted it, but it was too late. How long did you have it, like, swollen up before you went and got I was in the out? hospital for, like, I think eight weeks. Wow. Fuck. Oh, long time. Wow. Yeah, that's yeah, a that major sucked. life event. Two months. Yeah. Yep. Wow. Longest time I've spent in a hospital for was like a day, like a night, because mm. uh, they I broke my arm and they're like, "Yep, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just you know, put it in a cast." And then <laughs> when they got the cast off and looked at it, like that, that's a pretty fucked up arm. Still, uh, we're gonna have to re-break <laughs> that and and set it set it right. So I had to go and oh, wow. anesthetic, and they just were like. <laughs> With my arm. I've heard of people who have to do that, and I'm like, dude, just give me the fucked up arm. Don't re-break it, man. Oh uh, yeah, the bones you don't are probably want, like, fragile. An arm that's fucking shorter than the other one as you grow. You know what I mean? What would you rather have? Someone be like, your arm's gonna be kind of weird, or if they said your arm, your bones are like bird bones. What does that mean? <laughs> like hollow, <laughs> like hollow, <laughs> like hollow bones, right? Don't birds yeah, like, have yeah, like, like hollow like, bones? So they can fly. Like brittle, what are the implications? Bones. So, so the well, question it's like is grill you're, 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 you, you stand upright arm. and you're beautiful. You're uh, not deformed, but your bones are hollow. So do they break? Yeah, but then you can fly. I think well, you need a bit more than just hollow bones. I mean, to you fly could, dog. no, you could make like you could make like wings and then fly. You, you know how away. fucking well, there is, dangerous there, there, that would be. There's the argument you could, but I feel like your intestines and stuff would still be really heavy. I think that like right. the, uh, I think I the uh, skeleton way. 
Don't pretend like you don't how know. Much does, I, d- I don't know how much a skeleton weighs. How much weigh. does a skeleton weigh? <laughs> how much does a skeleton weigh? Dude, a skeleton weighs a lot. Uh, not that if much, I, though. I, like if, 22 if pounds. me remembers so if correctly. You, if you had hollow bones, it's 22 pounds, so at best, what are you losing? Like 10 pounds? So you probably can't be a bird. My bad. You probably not idiot. true. Yeah. Sorry, that guys. was silly of me. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, you can't guys. be a bird with bird bones. Really wanted to be a bird, but I guess not. <laughs> but but I mean, in that case, then there's no benefit of having bird bones. So what well, is the, the benefit question? is you weird, look beautiful and gorgeous versus like a misshapen Quasimodo esque creature. Yeah, but then you just yeah, yeah, you, yeah, just, yeah. you just but at least you, but the Quasimodo thing is strong. Anymore. Like you're yeah. strong. Like your bones are normal. How how you could, you how fucked are the bones? Do I can I do I start full range of motion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not saying it's like it's not like elephant man type level shit, but it's like you know, it'd probably be a bummer. <laughs> it would definitely be noticeable. Like people would be like, "This guy's a fucking." He's not like a gimp or anything, but he's like a you know, he's well, a little paint fucked. A, paint a picture. His his arm just like seven inches shorter. And that's it. No, no, no. If anything, it's like, like a, a weird. Arm. It's like a weird joint where his like elbow. His elbow is like a giant like wood. Like a, it's like a knot in a tree. So it's like a big like bulky bone type thing because a because mm-hmm. the bone had to be broken a couple times, right? So it's like he just. It's just a weird. Yeah, just a bit of a. It's a bit of a fuck situation. Well, I want to be feasting upon period ridden pussy so probably hollow bones because no one's gonna love me if i'm a monster that's probably true you ever think if you have something happen to you like that though you could just get like a really cool thing that covers it up and then you're more of like a like mysterious martyr type guy than a disfigured freak kind of like the the guy in I mean, you'd Kingdom. hope that he'd be a yeah like it, you know, his cool, order. his cool mask. Yeah, you just get I that. I feel like this is like that's a king. I feel it's like this now. is just like a insight though into your insecurities, where you would, <laughs> where you would prefer to like <laughs> lose yeah, a limb to become <laughs> interesting. No, 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 no. no, no this no, is Don well, testing what? out if he can wear a mask. Wouldn't that be really cool if I just wore a mask all the time? Is it would be weird if that if people wore like a king of heaven mask or? <laughs> or no I if I did like third degree burn all over my arm and my arm looked all fucked like horrible mm. I probably literally unironically would get like a special sleeve that I would just cover it with all the time yeah, you know? yeah. I would and then, and then people I, could get, wonder but I'd just that's, a, that's like at least kind of eccentric and fun I'd yeah, get exactly. dog tags that's what I would do Oh, and just stolen valor you, this happened I like whatever that, dude yeah. I got we're, third we're, degree we're, burns I've been cool. through my war how can you wear call that fucking, stolen valor? Wear, wear a fucking bandana. <laughs> yeah, ride a Harley. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Watch, Speaking watch of, Sons I of Anarchy. Watched, uh, I watched um, Lost Boys again last night. You inspired That's me to watch it. Yeah. It was a good time. Did you guys check out Fright Night yet? Yes, I did. No, not yet. Did you like it? It was okay, but it was no Lost Boys. Oh, I disagree. The best like, part like about it was they took that like boring high school looking girl and they turned her into a, a woman <laughs> by the end of the movie she's got blonde hair long blonde hair big titties poking through her sheer dress and nice. for a brief for a brief you didn't, brief, like, the, brief you didn't moment, like the nerdy guy happy. getting transformed and shit that little nasally fuck uh no i just no he was annoying i didn't mm. it, all the shit didn't it's make sense too. it didn't make sense either like he fucking burns that little retard with the cross Mm. And then, like, literally 20 minutes later, he, like, tries to get uh, the main bad guy with the cross, the main bad vampire, and the guy's like, you have mm. to have faith for that to work. It's like, well, it worked before. Did. Right. Mm. Maybe it's because he's, uh... Like, stronger. Maybe he's just, like, on his Dracula or something. Maybe like he's the strongest vampire. I like, like the, I like the, I like the way that they made the, the demons and shit look. I thought it looked fucking cool. It was, it had, like, fun moments. Like, I like the, uh... Nightclub like scene. Too. The nightclub scene was fun, and uh, I liked her nips, and that was it. I like the guy who plays Dracula. I think he's rad. He is. He made a good vampire. I also then watched the uh, 2011 remake with Colin Farrell. Terrible. Terrible. 
terrible. It was pretty. I was, just, like, just I was like, I was like, I saw a bunch of people online like, oh, the remake maybe like surpasses the original. I was like, okay, fuck, I'll check it out, and I regretted yeah. it deeply. I like Colin Farrell though. Did you, did you ever see uh, Banshees of Irishin? Whenever? No, I didn't. That's a good I've been one. meaning to. That it just so looks it's, like it's work a, if you like, to watch. If you like in Bruges, then you'd probably like. It. It's just like a weird, super dry, like dark comedy thing. Hmm. I like it though. I should watch it. I only re- honestly, I only really watch films when my uh, wife leaves the nest. Ugh, strangely enough, so I don't get a lot of opportunities. So if you suggest me something, I need to. You, it needs to be a good one because I pick my. I have to pick my moments. Well, it's hard because you don't like a lot of things. Yep. Sorry that I have standards. Uh, I would recommend uh, Michael Bay's Transformers. Hey, that that slapped when I was a kid. I didn't Mm -hmm. like it when I was a kid. The first I, liked, one, I, I fake I fake liked it for my <laughs> friends because they were all my friends yeah, liked it. Yeah, Megan, I, I was, Megan Fox is hot. Oh, yeah, I agree, guys. She's real hot. <clears throat> yeah, I'm like looking at my guy friend like, <laughs> do you like this stuff or do you not like it? Because I think it's kind of weird, right? No, I, uh, I was just annoyed with how fucking long the transforming actually took. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ. Especially by this time, there was some transform fatigue because they already did this gimmick in the Iron Man movie. So it was like I was just watching fucking mechanical parts shift and move. Was and sh- before uh, Iron Man, wasn't it? I thought it was like same year. That seems that seemed wrong to me too, but I just accepted it. Well, whatever. Same shit. Just fucking fatigued. Fatigued in general. I also, yeah, just didn't like. Just took too fucking long. I do like Shia LaBeouf in it though. That like did that did artistically annoy me too. The first time you see Optimus transform. He really like lays it on thick, you know. It's, it's like a two-minute sequence, and then later they can do it in like half a second. Stupid. Ah, uh, that's, the, that's like Super Saiyan rules, bro. Get over it. That's what cinema. Rules? Super Saiyan. Oh. Uh, you know how long right. it took for him to transform to Super yeah, Saiyan but three it's not the first time. It's not, Optimus, first time, it's not Optimus Prime's first time transforming. Hey, that motherfucker transforms all the time. He literally has. He turns. He's like a truck. Okay, well, maybe he was trying to put on a show for the humans so they didn't freak the fuck out. Yeah. Do you think that this is cool? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Check yeah, this out. Okay, Sam <laughs> Winicky or where the fuck his name is. Sam. Do you think this is cool? I, I guess. Cause stop yelling. Stop yelling at look me. Look at me. You're scaring me. I need you to look right at me right in my eyes, please. <laughs> yeah. Oh, cool. Awesome. Anyway, uh, awesome. thanks, I guess you're thanks, like a big, a big truck or something. I'm gonna go yeah. hang out with my my uh, what the fuck is it, Camaro? I'm gonna go hang out with my Camaro now. You know, actually, to tie this in with the last episode, uh, Shia LaBeouf's dad is the same dad in Small Soldiers. There you go. See, now I now I'm upset because it means Shia LaBeouf did not bootstrap his way into Hollywood. <laughs> No, no, no. I'm no, saying, saying the, movie. The, the guy that's his dad in, the in Transformers oh, is the same guy that's the gotcha, dad. In- gotcha. No, it's, I'm pretty sure he made a movie about his dad being like an abusive piece of shit that like forced him to die. Oh, boo hoo. Your dad forced you to become famous and get tons of pussy and get trolled <laughs> Dude, by Dude, Not Fortran. everybody's family can be a bunch of babbling fucking retards who own 18th century candy shops, dude. My boy Shia had to fight for his life out there in <laughs> Hollywood. <laughs> In Hollywood, in the fucking Grimes, in it. of seedy motels, my my boy had to do holes to get his fucking big break. That is tough. It's true. It's true, dude. Even Stevens. Did you guys have even Stevens? Anyone? Hell yeah, I loved even Stevens. Even Stevens rules. It was Except they didn't decent. like his friend Beans. Yeah. Support cast. I thought his sucked. friend Beans was retarded. Like this the guy girl sucks. was a bitch too. She sucked. Yeah, but she was kind of hot. When I was a kid, I was like, yeah, I, I wish she was mean to me. <laughs> yeah, um, I don't know if we had this, but I remember seeing Shia LaBeouf's stupid fucking face and hating it as a kid. That's fair. I liked them. I always fucking hated this, like, hairstyle that... Uh, this was, like, uniquely American to me. This, like... This cute little curly hair, little, dude. Like, curly fucking weird fro thing. Yeah, man. Weird. Yeah, it's, that's sick. <laughs> that's it's probably what Hunter that's probably what Hunter no that's actually really sweet 
you get that kind of hair whenever you have to like really like fight for it. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're 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 full of so much struggle that your hair even <clears> fucking. <throat> That's true. That's how he struggled so hard, but then he was able to overcome and uh, like really like, you know, make it in the industry, which I thought was sweet. Do you know what? Okay. This is ta- not even sort of related, but kind of. That <laughs> motherfucking guy who uh, played the Punisher. His pod- Jason Momoa. His, yes, exactly. His podcast <laughs> triggers me so much. <laughs> I don't know what uh, it when is. He, when he was had Shyla on there or whatever. Just just in general, just how he sits there, like with his fucking f- perfect five o'clock shadow and his stupid hat on sideways. And like his, he's got like a uh, a baseball cap and he kind of like wears it to the side and on the back of his head. And he dude, sits why do you there think that upsets silently. you? Uh, I think it upsets me because I don't know. That's a good question. That's a really good question. I mean, it could just be like. I think that sometimes too, just being like, it's a petty, just like it, when I look at it, it just frustrates me. There's no real rhyme or reason. That must be like, I like those responses more. I hate whenever people, whenever people have like an ideal exact explanation of why they don't like things. That's how I know. I'm like, you're, you're that's a fucking wet blanket, dude. I want somebody who's just viscerally <laughs> mad for no reason. <laughs> I mean, there's still no reason to get mad. This guy's just doing a podcast and like being serious, but. Yeah, but see, I I know what you mean though. To me, it's my gut reaction with it is it just comes off very like douchey. Like when I heard it, it was like, I mean, he was my bro. We were on a movie together. Yeah, he hit his wife around a little bit, but I don't know, Joe. This is him on Joe Rogan's podcast. I don't know, Joe. I just feel like I had to get in there and help him. You know, it's a fucking snake pit. The kid fought tooth and nail when he was a child to make it as a famous actor. Yeah, you know, so I I had to help him. He just sits there so seriously with this like consternation on his face and says nothing. I've never heard yeah. him speak. Do you like once. Twinkies? <laughs> do you like do you like little Debbie snacks? Uh, my yeah, dad used to rape okay. me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I love zebra cakes. <laughs> <laughs> my dad would put his cigars out on the back of my neck. Yeah, cosmic brownies. I used to like those when I was younger, but um. I don't know. Not anymore, I guess. <laughs> it's weird. I would ch- Isn't it weird the evolution we all take as we get older? <laughs> Just like talking about like, <laughs> oh my little I don't know. Look at this fucking picture I just posted. That that surely Damn. says a lot. Something about, ah, oh, fuck, here's another one. Let me see. I oh, see. I like to have explanations for why something triggers me. He looks like he's dying in the way. Yeah. yeah I, you, you, you know what the, the real problem is, is I think it's just a flat bill hat. Yeah. It's, oh, yeah Especially it's when not you're even 57 years old. <laughs> also, it's like, he's like, yeah, I got these cool texts on my arm. These are all excerpts from my favorite book, How to Kill a Mockingbird. Um, so these are, this is pretty tight. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what it is. That's what it is. He's too... He t- I think he takes himself too seriously is my guess. Like, I feel like he really fucking... But then also at the same time, he has this, like, flat bill hat on to the side, kind of, like, quirky. I just... Something about that combination hurts me. I just don't like the Rastafarian beanie that I see here. That's what I'm I don't about. like that. That's what I just don't like be. I just don't like those beanies in general. Unless you're a uh, a Jamaican man. It's the only time it ever works. When you're holding your dreads in them. That's, I think that's what that beanie is literally used for. This is Okay, this is my problem with uh, this man, John Bernthal. Uh, f- former Walking Dead star John Bernthal talks punching out his Fury co-stars. <laughs> <laughs> I just had to let, I just had, I just had let him know what's up. Sheila also, Buff is also in that. Also, his... Uh, this could just be his, fake news. But his, uh, I think his pod, yeah, his podcast is called Real Ones. Yeah. Like, dude, get the fuck over yourself. Yeah, I only talk to people who are real, like people who aren't afraid to kind of just say it how it is. Yo, I'm a, you this, know. this is Real Ones and we get real and uh, we don't beat around the real. bush. So she, uh, t- <laughs> tell us about how your dad fingered you. I yeah, don't like to beat around the bush. I don't like to be around the bush. I like hitting the hard questions. So what was it like working at a car wash when you were 15? Was that like weird? Or? <laughs> <laughs> then you'd come uh, home and your dad, okay. just, he fingered you. 
<laughs> you know, yeah, it always goes like that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it always works its way back to the dad favorite. <laughs> yeah, and they're dodging the question. He just keeps coming yeah. back, obviously. Yeah. yeah, I like SpaghettiOs more than I like uh, a lot of the other Chef Boyardee stuff. But uh, so your dad fingered you when you were like, <laughs> like, when was that? How old again? <laughs> you know, just, did you do any research? Yeah, like, you I, you were saying before happened. the show that he fingered you. Did you want to <laughs> yeah, talk about said, that? We were very intimately talking to each other in private. <laughs> you said that, right? <laughs> Remember? Yeah, dude. Those 70s dads, too. They had thicker fingers, I swear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I got kind of went like insult. I swear. Th- thick of fingers, I swear. I swear. <laughs> I swell. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 We're real ones on this one. I swell. I got my best friend, uh, Shia LaBeouf, to come on the podcast here to, to be real on real ones. Yeah, you ever have also, to punch you, out your co star, Shia? You ever have to do that? He was on that movie, too. Yeah, he remember was. When I had to punch out, remember when I had to ball my fist and drive it through everybody's skull on set? Yeah, remember I, that, I remember that was kind of weird. Everyone was yeah, really uncomfortable. Really excessive. Yeah, well, no. I'm a real one, says, so. No. <laughs> no. No. No, I don't think so. No, I don't think so. No, I, I think it was actually literally awesome. <laughs> it was literally awesome. <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about fingers right, and stuff. Calling it real ones. I, th- I, I mean, like, I don't even mind that, like, kind of, like, trying to do a Hollywood without bullshit thing. But, yeah, it's I don't the know, hat. man. No, because like I mean, it, 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 no, it's the hat. It, it's the hat that's bad, but real ones, real ones only works. I think, ironically, if you were a mafia actor in the nineties, like if Joe Pesci had a podcast, <laughs> I would, would expect it to be called Real sure. Ones. I feel like sure. we should have called this podcast Real Ones because hey, we don't hold back. I'm starting a new one. It's called Stolen Valor, and I go outside Army Recruitment Centers and I do a podcast live there. I would, yeah. I mean, I'd watch that. That would be pretty entertaining. <laughs> people, people are walking in. Hey, what you unit sure were you, you in? No, okay. What unit were you in then? Oh, yeah. Yet. So, what? Who is your who is your commanding officer? Oh, I don't know yet. What rank are you, <laughs> uh, p- Captain? <laughs> What's even more confusing is I have a Japanese kimono on. The entire time. <laughs> yeah, I learned a lot from the Japanese when I was in Japan in the army. I just decided was the last to switch sides while I was there. Happy Samurai. I just decided to switch samurai. sides while I was there. I didn't care. I just walked off base and I just walked into this one. I said, "I'm with you guys now." And that's what I did. Because they give you when you sign up over there, you get a free Nintendo uh, DS. So the, the Japanese it. really respect uh, show of force. So here I am. So your dad fingered you, huh? Yeah. <laughs> God damn it. Get, would you have the, 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 the like producers on the set? Would you could you get John out of here? No, so you're yeah, your so, dad so fi- and that's why me. you're an army ranger now. So tell me, what was it like working on the set of holes? Uh, I was young. Was that's caught. a pretty that's ironic a time, name, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> that name is really ironic with the stuff you told me off camera. You want to go into that? Yeah. Why? Do, why Yo. do you think he used his finger with his wedding ring? Man, this this uh, <laughs> this uh, I think he was <laughs> vowing to do something to you. <laughs> That's gotta do a lot of damage, bro. This this weather out here is the tits. Uh, yeah, he's complimenting pretty, the weather. Pretty nice, I guess. Fucking nice day. Makes you kind of want to forget about all that fingering, huh? <laughs> Yo, I was supposed to be on The Mandalorian, but that never happened. <laughs> Six million downloads. John, John I just Bernthal's love how John Bernthal ones. really peels back the curtain and just lays it all yeah. out there. He's so yeah, vulnerable. You know we only, when you see people driving on screen, it's that usually the ho- car is hooked up to a trailer. You're not really driving at all. <laughs> he's just, he's yeah, just telling like people this to Shia LaBeouf. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's telling this to other actors. <laughs> Explaining yeah, yeah, like, filmmaking. Trying to tell, tell people how <laughs> yeah, green screens well, I, yeah, work We and did stuff. a lot of that on Transformers, so. <laughs> yeah, I never yeah. saw that one. Yeah, I do. That wasn't really. I don't, I don't watch. Yeah, I don't watch flops. Like, no, it was an extremely successful film. Nah, not my. I just watch Friday. I watch the Friday series. That's my favorite movies ever. I love Friday. Man, what a cultural impact, huh? What a cultural. Hey, so 
Would you, if Mandalorian ever wanted you to be on the show, would you be on the show? Yeah, I, I guess. I don't mean, yeah, paycheck would probably be good. Yeah, I'm rich as fuck, so I don't really care about money, but I do like getting paid a lot. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> it's like, hey, hey, let it out. Let it all out. It's okay. Yeah, let it out, though, man. Sometimes if you have any gotta, trauma. Yeah, just let it out. Hey, would you it? mind giving me an... Would you mind giving me an exclusive about anything that happened that was horrible in your life? Anything that was really terrible for you. Uh, yeah, yeah, just anything that was extremely traumatizing that maybe formed who you are as a person today. Anything like that? Do you want to unveil on real ones? No, no I'm I... just trying to promote my Eras tour. So, yeah, no, but you yeah, were raped, cool. right? So, what was it like? What was it like? <laughs> <laughs> what was what like? You know. All right, so you're going to make me come out and say it. The finger fucking. What was it like? <laughs> well, and, you know. It's, what? <laughs> I, that, that never really happened to me. It's okay. No, let it, it out, Tay. Hey, let it out. <laughs> oh, it's different when we talk about a woman. <clears throat> no, there's, sorry. I was looking at something on my screen. I'm looking at how uh, <laughs> the real ones analytics have skyrocketed. What well, since our podcast was recorded? No, just since it's a conception, even. Oh, so this episode hasn't had any effect on its metrics. No, well, it's not out yet. When it does drop, it will. It'll boost it up even more. These are gonna be like, that's weird. I got seven thousand more <laughs> impressions this month. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's, uh, crazy. I actually just what's sick and twisted mean, huh? Yeah, yeah uh, I keep seeing all cool. these crazy, swick, sick and twisted beads, and that this is unequivocally and unironically the best podcast they've ever heard. Uh, my uh, my community with the vets is <laughs> community. My community <laughs> with the vets is where we skywalking. My is. Commu <laughs> my uh, community with them has a gold twibble fold. Who's he? Let's see who he's been talking to recently. Okay. It's just Rain Wilson every Oh, episode. he had that Cody Alford guy on. That's funny. Oof, 20,000 views. Oh, boy, we are crushing real ones. We are destroying them. Oh, on Kurt YouTube? Angle. Kurt? Oh, these are his <laughs> clips. It's the actual episodes get more views. You know what, John? Sort out your fucking channel. It's really hard to tell what's what here. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I'm a man. I'll do what I want. <laughs> I like men things. So tell me this, Shia. How do you like your steak cooked? I like it medium. <laughs> yeah, that's a good, that's, that's tasty, huh? <laughs> yeah, just last. Oh, I didn't know we <laughs> had a bitch on the podcast. Me? Guess your dad yeah, didn't like finger you enough, huh? <laughs> I think uh, usually people that have had that kind of trauma like to uh, have the steaks well done. It's like, what person on earth likes a well done steak? <laughs> the uh, ones that have been fingered by their dads. <laughs> All right. Today's video is sponsored by BetterHelp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sick. He sat down with a Hell's Angel. It's called Infiltrating the Hell's Angels. What was it? What was it like riding motorcycles back then? <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what, what, what do you mean like the, the traffic yeah, or like what do you like just being on the like the road like there's the tires or the, i bet the tires were like way crazy different oh uh, yeah i mean I, it's basically all rubber and all right sponsor time uh we're sponsored again <laughs> by better <laughs> he has four better help ads on the same episode <laughs> Damn, brother, that's that's tough. <laughs> is the, <laughs> yeah, that's what he says to him, being like, he's like, oh yeah, I mean, it was fun. I miss those days. Oh man, that's tough. That's this is response real, to everything. Real tough. That is that's tough. tough. Wow. But you doing crazy. okay here? If you want to <laughs> let it all out, I'm right here. <laughs> yeah, I'm right here. Nah, I'm fine. Did you I see mean, my hat? What does burn local mean? I don't fuck. It's probably just some stupid fucking brand. I uh, know. So it it it'd be funny if he had a lids hat, burn like local the, the actual store lids. I just like the store. <laughs> <laughs> they do a tremendous <laughs> service to our communities. 
<laughs> yeah, I like to. I like it. You know what? Uh, what is a community without a lids? It's just going into Sylvester Stallone. I'm sorry, I can't keep this straight. I'm a fucking <laughs> boys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, really, just tear yourself up about it. <laughs> a real fucking oh my piece fucking, of shit. Oh my fucking god! Oh, I can't, I fucking can't do fucking anything it. right. Hey, let it all out, brother. Let it all out. It's okay. I was watching this movie called uh, Small Soldiers the other day. <laughs> would you be Gorgonite or would you probably want to chip hazards, boys? <laughs> He says, he says this to the Hells Angels guy. <laughs> yeah, He's like, probably I don't know any of the words hard. you just said. What, what the yeah, hell are you talking about? I'd be fucking crazy if... Uh, you, do you fuck with Archer or, or something? I mean, like, I don't know. Like, you got to kind of like, feel for them that lost their homeland and stuff. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Kind of reminds me of the... Uh, the fucking... The red dots that live here in the state. He's like, I don't... Do you think you're thinking of the... What do you Indians. what do you mean red dot? Oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's kind of wrong. Oh shit, yeah, I guess it is a wrong. Damn. Well, what if they're different people? Why are they called the same you thing? You know what's then? funny about those you know what's funny about those red dots? I keep thinking that a sniper is pointed at the head. <laughs> but I always think, I always think that's funny. <laughs> My training kicks in that I received on doing Punisher. <laughs> and uh, I just want to tackle them out of the way. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I, I got a lot of respect for people. You know, I got a lot of respect for people who put targets on their heads. It takes yeah. balls. People who, it takes people a lot of balls. That, people are putting themselves out there every day and, I, and just waking up and trying to do anything they can is just absolutely wild. I mean, it is something that is just crazy. You know where I could give one of them on my, my podcast, you think? I <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? You know what the way down. Where could I get one? <laughs> if I I, uh, I tried the Walmart, but it's all Mexican. they don't hang out there. They don't like hanging out there no more. <laughs> 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 what what uh what kicked this off? Are you are you listening to real ones now? Oh, we're talking about Shia LaBeouf Why? and I. Every time someone says yeah, him, I just see a picture of him out. with his stupid slick back hair and fucking patchy ass beards, like crying about something to that guy, and it cuts to him, and he's just got his fucking hat on sideways, looking at him like yeah. dead eyes. That's all I see every yeah, time I, just, I think of Shia LaBeouf now. LaBeouf. LaBeouf? I wondered if he. Had committed any sin apart he from that. He sent me an email. Hey, he an brother. Email. John Banthor said, Hey, brother. <laughs> hey, hey, brother. Hey, brother. Hey, brother. I saw it's you haven't posted Banthor. on your second channel for a, for a while. I just want to know if everything's okay, bud. Just wanted to know if you got any trauma <laughs> and want to talk about it. John Banthor's you guys got any, uh, you guys got anything kicking around in that area as you want to get out on the microphone? You <laughs> let me know. <laughs> Yeah, me and John are pretty Ian fucking good pals. Dude. Yeah, I'm not. <laughs> In it, what do you do now if he invited us on? Would you go, Don? Would you, or would you be scared? I'd yeah. be a little scared. Hey, I heard you were such a big tough shit. guy. Why don't you come fucking? Why don't you come <laughs> toe to toe with me? You want to try figure me? Say... Go right ahead. <laughs> try it. Go on. Try figure me. <laughs> try figure me right now. No, go you ahead. Go. <laughs> right now. Try you figure me. Come you want to come on this podcast to try figuring this guy? You good fucking luck because I, 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 am, I faced the devil himself and I won. When I was working on The Walking Dead, and there was some tough days on that set, brother. I tell you, I faced, I faced evil, and I'm not talking about. I'm, I faced some fucking demons in my day. And let me tell you, you know, The Walking Dead really got me to a place where spiritually. I'm <laughs> 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 fucking love it. Hey, good for you, John. Fucking doing your thing. Don't listen. Yeah. Don't listen yeah. to us, but I know you're tuned yeah, what the in. fuck do we know, dude? Yeah, we don't know. He's, he's, he, he's the guy who's doing his fucking podcast in his literal LA mansion. You know? So what the fuck do we know, dude? Nothing. That's true. Off of like, I don't know, th three rolls. You got to give it to him. Oh yeah. I was John Burnfall in The Walking Dead. 
And I would jump up for the Punisher. <laughs> and I had a little brief scene in my obsidian in the Wolf of Wall Street where I played John Berthold. I like how he, yeah, My name was John Berthold here. Uh, John Berthold there. Here, John. There, John. Everywhere, <laughs> John. John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's all of his roles. I can't think of any others. <laughs> there is none. People just want me to be myself on movies mostly. All the directors like we begged him to read the script and be a different person. <laughs> and when he tried we, when we tried to tell him that he wasn't on the role anymore, he just kind of laughed to himself. <laughs> hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, whatever, Marty. Oh. Marty Scorsese. Yeah, that sounds about right. That sounds just like Marty. Something he would say. <laughs> you know, I feel like Marty's got a lot on his shoulders. He could probably get out there <laughs> and uh, really on lay on the <laughs> really lay on the line. <laughs> Marty's got. Just so much going on all the time. <laughs> it's tough, dude. You grow up in those Italian American neighborhoods when you were a kid. It's tough. That's a tough place to come from. You know, he could have been in the mob. He didn't do. He didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> like, what are you talking about, John? <laughs> oh, he was in that other film. He was in uh, Shot Cooler. There you go. Oh yeah, I love that production. That was sweet. That was pretty sweet. <laughs> that was actually like awesome. The weirdest thing was, you know, everyone got so into it. There was some real racial tension on set, <laughs> and it felt it felt good was to there? work it all out with the boys, you know. Yeah, <laughs> work it all out with the boys. You know, the black like didn't like each the other Mexicans. Profusely. The Mexicans didn't like the blacks. <laughs> the whites didn't like the, the Mexicans or the blacks. We had to get food out, brother. Been. We had to get food out. I've, I've never been in a more divisive womb in my life. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been in a place that had so much hate, so much unfiltered hate before in my life. But hey, that's, you know, that's what actors do. They got to go to these dark places. They Sometimes actors have to go to these places that are a bit twiggy. <laughs> 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 Ah, fuck. <laughs> yep. He writes in it. What, what would his autobiography be? My deep dark place? No, it some it'd be some stupid <laughs> yeah. pun on his fucking like punishing myself. <laughs> oh, I thought it was gonna yeah, be like there you go. kicking there you back go. That was good. or like or like beer clock. No, they always do like all those guys, wow. the Hollywood people. Hi everyone. <laughs> Hi everyone, it's me, John. Thanks for reading my book. This is chapter one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for checking out my book. Well, I had a lot of fun writing it with my friend. No, you probably got a lot on your shoulders right now, huh? Well, I left <laughs> yeah. this blank space for you to write it down. And we're <laughs> yeah. going to talk about it you over the you, next full taps. You do what you you do what you got to do. Like I told Barty Sorsese when he wrote the forward of his book. I said, Barty... I'm going to leave a couple pages for you. So kick it away, Marty. <laughs> it's like no one can read what he wrote. It's like, wow. <laughs> Talk about a, a, a titan of the industry. <laughs> you know what's fucked up too? Is I <laughs> I honestly don't think I've seen. Or like I have <laughs> nothing against John. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I have literally nothing. To no see. ill will towards this guy. And we like spent 30 minutes just besmirching the name. I like, does he even sound like this? Tom seems to have the most I don't experience. Know. I really does he don't sound know anything he like this? No, it's the most disappointing like thing. It's the most in his fucking roles. He always sounds like the like, gruff, gruff from guy. Jersey. But when right? yeah. in real life, so he's, he's just, he's got, just this, got this like standard. lamest fucking voice ever. He's like, Yeah, thanks. Hmm. Thanks, uh, Conan. I had a real good time playing the Punisher. You're like, That's it? <laughs> That's your fucking voice? <laughs> But yeah, that's he, what I do in my press conference. This is my press conference. That's my press. I thought, hey, you know, a lot of guys go through a hard time with an alcoholic dad, and I don't want to remind them of what they sounded like, you know? <laughs> dad, God, what a humanitarian. What what, what they sounded like. <laughs> what they sounded like. <laughs> 
<laughs> to, to your point too, I actually get kind of excited when I see him in a film. I'm like, ah, oh, cool, John Bernthal's <laughs> yeah. in it. I was say every every time every time I've ever seen a movie, I'm like, oh, this guy's good. Yeah, he's a good actor. <laughs> he's a good guy. <laughs> I actually like him. Oh, yeah. it's, it's the best part. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> oh totally. You know, I get this a lot with my fans, cause uh <laughs> they see yeah. they see a male role model when they don't know whether to, to lash out or look for a shoulder to cry on. <laughs> you probably think that I'm a big blubbering big blubbering brute, but <laughs> lo and behold, I'm not. My name's John. <laughs> Nice to meet you. <laughs> Actually, that, that, that's his book name. Is I'm John. Nice I'm to John, meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, nah, dude, he would call it the fucking The Walking Dead, 100%. And it'd be him at like his lowest on the cover. You know, this was taken, <laughs> yeah. this was taken moments I, after my dad Figleby. It's like four years ago. I hated how, how much money I made on that. <laughs> it turned me into a person I didn't like. Not one bit. <laughs> First, I didn't like that. Not one bit. <laughs> <laughs> That's when I discovered what did. it means to be a Hindu. Like, what? <laughs> You're a Hindu? Yeah, so yeah. That's huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's kind of just my like my life direction. It just kind of is what it is, brother. Hey, that's it, that's, it, that's why. <laughs> it just kind of is what it is, brother. <laughs> <laughs> hey, say la vie, right? <laughs> say la vie. Ah, <laughs> uh, fuck. Damn, you already yeah. just sound like a guy too. My favorite. <laughs> Yeah, it's so funny. There's like just, nothing cool about his voice. Right? It's so fucking like milk yeah. toast. And then he plays a punter, he's like, You wanna say that again? I'll fucking kill you. Yeah. There's there's I'll a lot of good things you. that came out of that punish that Punisher show though. Huh? There's a lot of good, like uh pretty fucking good memes that came out of the Punisher show show, from what I remember. The show was pretty good. It was, I mean it wasn't amazing. Was it the Netflix yeah. one, right? Yeah. yeah. The first yeah, I season, I never saw that. the first, the first season was pretty good. It kind of, you know, it all falls off always, but. Hey, brother, you killed my wife. Now I'm going to kill you. <laughs> I love the punisher. <laughs> Someone got to do it. Somebody got to keep the animals in one. <laughs> God damn it, John. You're him. I can see it now. <laughs> That's his voice. So I got to keep these crazy animals. So I got to keep these crazy animals. Get <laughs> line. <laughs> John, why are you so mad? Hey, I, would, I, I loved it. I loved every second. I would do it again if I could. You're like, God, I hope there's another season of this. <laughs> yeah. Jesus, this guy really goes there. Yeah, huh? this guy goes yeah, to a dark, dark place. <laughs> so uh, yeah. my dad fingled me when I was a little boy. I don't know mean I'm going to let it define me. And ever since it happens, I've been hunting down my dad. One criminal at a time. <laughs> You're like, the backstory is, is riveting. This is Criminal Minds. It's like, John, it's the wrong show. <laughs> it's the wrong show. <laughs> this is NCIS, and I'm, I'm the yeah! one. Like who? Yeah, he, 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 he even does like the, yeah, he does the, the, uh, the, yeah. That's one thing about NCIS I love, dude. Well, I guess we'll never see her again. Yeah! And it goes into the intro. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, I do. I thought that was. Uh, I thought that was. That's the CIA's, right? No, or is that no, uh, that's, that? uh, fucking the forensic CI CSI CSI. Oh, CSI, CSI Miami. Miami. Yeah, 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 yeah. You're right. Honestly, dude, when you're white, you're white. It was that. Honestly, dude, <laughs> when you're white, you're white. <laughs> Take it from me. <laughs> John, that's a line from Shot <laughs> from Shot Caller. You know, I actually changed my name, right? Legally. Yeah, my original name was Terry Lakata. <laughs> it's like Okay. Yeah, okay. I grew up in a pretty rough neighborhood on uh, Brooklyn. <laughs> Everybody keep calling me Titty Terry and I hated it. So I changed my name. I didn't care. It's like guy guy no match the coast is you know, pretty common actually. <laughs> So I don't know why we're making a big deal. 
I even know kids knew what that was. <laughs> uh, back then, people didn't really know what Gino Kono Macustius was, so oh, I got a lot of shit for it. Yep. I told you, my dad used to really like to cup my titties. I got a lot whilst, of shit for it. Whilst he think of my... <laughs> Something I actually share in common with Shush. Well, I shouldn't say his name because he didn't want me to talk about it. But uh, the only, a little I'm actor sure. I worked with uh, in the theater of Europe, if you know what I mean. A little birdie told me. They, uh, I was the only person in America to be legally diagnosed as shell-shocked. <laughs> yeah, the acting world's and, and, weirder than you think, brother. You know, we, the, was, the things we do on those sets, they change you, man. <laughs> all he's, it's like all he's been in so far, too, is like Punch Drunk Love or like a rom-com or something <laughs> like that. This shit changes you as a person. It's hard to get out of character. When you win, you're in. I don't do things half-assed, brother. <laughs> when the director comes to me, I know that, that that's man's life. That's his vision. You don't fuck around well with that. That's real. That's war. <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's real. That's war. <laughs> Yeah, so anyways, this is you're reading for background extra two and knocked up. <laughs> Don't you get that little girl knocked up. John, John John Bartlett reading for background extra in Pineapple Express. <laughs> oh <laughs> Damn, that is some top shelf Zaza. <laughs> How was that? How was that, Chef? You're hired. You're hired. <laughs> oh, perfect. Awesome. <laughs> hey, uh, Chef, if you ever want to come to my podcast, and, uh, I know that in 12 months. <laughs> hey, feel free, buddy. Hey, I've got, yeah, I've got a He's, big, a hey, big Seth, broad Seth. shoulder right here for you, I buddy. Know, <laughs> Seth, I know that you like smoke a hell of kush and you make a lot of gay ceramics now, but feel free to cut that stuff out and come talk to me sometime on my podcast. Hey, you want to put on a lid? You want to put on a lid and get in the chair anytime, brother? Anytime. I'm sponsored by Lid. I'm sponsored by Lid. They make the hat while you uh, are on the podcast. So you <laughs> you give them the prompt at the beginning, but by the part, time the podcast is over, your hat's done and you're able to wear it off the show. It's very pretty, pretty innovative system. <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude I'm fucking that John. I love it yeah what a guy John Burnthal slammed bastardized toxic masculinity and said real men are kind <laughs> you know you may think this by looking at me <laughs> that I'm, I'm a real piece of work you may look at my backstory <laughs> where I come from brother and you may think I'm a real nasty Water. guy but hey Water, listen, Water, Water. that's wrong that's not what a will man is. A will man is kind and he's nice to you. A will man pit pockets strangers. A will man steals the purse for the lady who's not looking. That's a will man. That's <laughs> providing like, for your family, brother. All right, John. Who's my favorite person ever? Aladdin. <laughs> <laughs> God. He's really kind to that Will Monkey of his, and I respect that brother because that ain't easy. Hey, that ain't easy you know, to, to to have to provide for another for another thing, you know, another person. Uh, is is saying brother so part of his lexicon too? That's like a. Yeah, or is that an invention? In my, in my head, he is. I mean, yeah. look at the pictures <laughs> of him. Yes, he's, he's he definitely like has, that, he has that bro vibe where it's brother, where it's like the yeah. older guy who's talking to you, and he's like, it's like a guy. I, I notice like a lot of MMA guys do that. Oh, you know yeah. I mean, it's like uh, they know you they can kick your ass or something. They're just like, I mean, listen, brother, you got to learn how to like respect yourself, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like a uh, little man in you or whatever. Hey, listen, yeah. brother, you got to check yourself <laughs> before, before you, you wreck yourself. Wreck yourself. <laughs> okay, you know, brother, you, you take that and you think about oh, it. Oh, shit. I got to go, actually, because it's 930. Big Bang Theory is on. And then uh, Mike <laughs> and Molly come on after. <laughs> Classic television. Hey, All hey, right, brother. Hey, a, lot of, a lot of people don't like a brother, but I thought Young Sheldon was a pretty good prequel. Anyway, I'm an executive producer on it. How? How did that happen, John? 
Well, I had to go <laughs> to a dark Funny place. Story. I tell you, I had to go to <laughs> yeah. a real dark place to get to, to get the, the credit for producer on Young Sheldon. Oh boy! I had to dig deep. I had to put on my headlamp, make sure my batteries were packed for my flashlight, because I was gonna have to dig deep, and I did. And I, when I was digging, it turns out that they were looking for a guy just like me. Hey, brother, <laughs> there were glow sticks in the depths of hell. I'll tell you that for free. <laughs> yeah. When you die, nothing happens, brother. The only thing lighting you up is fall of brimstone, brother. I tell you, when you're in hell, that's the only, that's the only warmth you got from them flames. <laughs> Unironically, I imagine that's something he said before. When you're in hell, <laughs> the flames, well, they start feeling real good. Cause that's the only warp you got down there. You know what I mean, brother? <laughs> you're right, Hunter. When, when you're when you're in hell, when you're in hell, you're gonna start hoping that you can feel the burn, cause you won't feel anything after a while. Some stupid <laughs> shit like that. Some stupid fucking. I <laughs> oh, love it. What wow, it's already that guy. time for the episode to be over. Oh, wow. That sucks. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I would have given to go another hour. Oh, yeah, do you know really? what, though? Hey, we can. Because there's a Patreon, and it's called <laughs> patreon.com forward slash cream crew, mm. where you get another four episodes a month, $1.25 per episode. That's $5 a month. What a fucking. <clears throat> hey, what a deal, brother. You ain't going to find that Honestly. value anywhere else. Honestly, I picked that out of my couch and changed every month, so it's no skin off my back, brother. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, bye, everyone. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye.